Hey everybody, Brooks from Jack Times here. Guess where I'm at? This is where I sneak in. Oh, what wait. are you doing? I thought you want to open the glass thing and then you come in. Oh, we can do that now. Alexa, okay. glass on. Okay. There Magic. we go. That's right, we're with Shmi and we're gonna take a full garage tour at the Museum, which he says he's not even done yet with every single one of his cars in here. They're all so together. we get a Drag Times exclusive. Let's, let's roll out and check out what we got. Gotta turn the glass off as well. Alexa, glass off. Come on through there, guys. So I'm out here for a Goodwood Festival of Speed. It was my first visit to that event and wow, dude, it was awesome. It's a crazy, crazy. I got, I was there three days and got a ride up the hill each day. Got a ride up in the Senna with Bruno Senna. That's pretty In cool. the rain, that was epic. And then <laughs> I went up the record setting production car, the Remats Nevera yep. with Miro. Yep. Uh, we didn't set the record while I was driving, but never <laughs> I've less. I've been up the hill with him and, and that is. He is a really, really good driver. And then I went up in the last day, the Regera, yeah. and uh, with Nicholas. And that yep. was just crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> All right, first up, this is the Zenmo. Zenvo. Zenvo. <laughs> Say, the rest. Venmo. Say the rest. Zenvo <laughs> Say the rest. TSRS. TSRS. Now, we were talking a little bit about this 1300 horsepower twin supercharged. This might be the fastest car in your garage. It is certainly the most powerful car. Most powerful, car. but the SF90, which we'll talk about a little more, probably give it a run for money. Certainly off the line, obviously. So, single clutch. It's, do you know what this is? This is like if you take an Aventador SVJ, which in the normal world is an insane machine and you inject it with some steroids or yeah. something. It's just, yeah. it's mind-blowingly raw, visceral. Yeah. Like, you feel like you're on edge. You get out with a serious adrenaline yeah. rush. <laughs> <laughs> so V8 twin, twin supercharged. It's got the yeah. single clutch, which obviously has yeah. its, its drawbacks and advantages because it gives yes. you that kind of really, really cool feeling. Kick. Like, you shift. And the thing about this that everyone's always wondering about is the weird wing. We're going to talk about the wing. Yeah, so the wing kind of dances demo. around. Can we get a demo? We can. Great, fantastic. It Let's see it. Little, like, demo. Okay. Oh, yep. <laughs> Look at it go. So depending if you're cornering, I'm sure this way, this way, whatever, it will adjust for different aero effects. But yeah, let's, this has got to sound wicked. Let's give it a cold start. All right. Now, I should add that I opted the quiet exhaust to begin. Okay. But it might get louder soon. Okay. That's all I can yeah, say. It's not as loud as I thought it would be. No, they, they ran. Basically, for their factory car, the blue one that quite yeah. a few people have seen around the world, okay. they basically ran it as a straight through, okay. and I was like, guys, not that loud for mine, please. All right. <laughs> Give it a couple of reps before I shut it off. Very cool. You probably haven't seen much of the inside, so let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of carbon, a lot of Alcantara. A mix of leather, very cool. And I hear they got something wicked coming soon. They do. I saw a couple of pictures of it. It looks incredible. It's coming soon. Yeah, yeah. really soon. Next up, four GT. Yes, what wrapped up. Well, I don't know. What's what's the wrap? <laughs> so, He's got a livery on here. Let me explain. Betty Boop. There's a bit of a story behind this. So. Wycliffe Galleries Art Gallery reached out working with an artist called Luet, who is a pop artist, uh, to create a series of pieces called Hyper Pop, which are being auctioned in a couple of months' time, with 50% of the proceeds going to Calm, which is a mental health charity. Gotcha. So they asked if we could be involved in this, get the car some visibility, or get the artwork some visibility, try and get it out there ahead of the auction. So I love icons, I love colors. I mean, look around my garage. Right? Yeah. I've literally got a Pac Man machine here, yes. Pac Man on the thing. The car is in red and gold underneath. You've seen it before. We yes, we raced. Before. We raced. <laughs> um, so we've got a nod to Iron Man. Link down in the description. New 4 GT versus my old 4 GT. We did a few races a while yeah. back. Yeah, that was fun. Throwback. This, yeah. This car came to your house four years ago. That's right. Yeah. Wow. That's quite funny. Speed Racer, my favorite. Love it. The so Mach 5. I like doing things that are weird, wacky, wonderful, just because. You know, That's you great. You see that in the eclectic. Now channel. you have new exhaust on this. It has a quick silver exhaust. You want to start it? Ready? Yep. I can't hear you. No. <laughs> Couple reps. Yeah, that's 
That sounds great. You know what? Would have been cool back here since you're doing less kind of cartoon stuff. A little Angry Birds. Because, you know. I've got some Angry Birds pillows in there. Yeah, but the everyone says it looks like the pig from Angry Birds in the back. So, I can you imagine if you did a little thing like that? On next is the AMG Black Series. Which has just come back from America. And you painted this. It used to be... Satin black. It used to be black. Okay. They ordered it. Yes. So the factory wouldn't allow me to order it yellow. Okay. In the UK, we could only choose factory orders. Right. Uh, factory colors. Gotcha. So I wanted this. They didn't offer it. You could choose eight different colors. Yep. Took delivery. First week repainted. I watched that video. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people got very upset. Yeah. They're like, but what about the value? Yeah. Right, right, right. I remember you said, I don't care. I want what I want and, and I'm going to get it. But right? This makes 800 horsepower. We did a, an Opus upgrade. So Sports Cats, small tune, up from okay. 730 to 850. 850. Yeah. Wow. I bet they like to spin the rear wheels. Awesome. Next up, Huracan STO. Color choices again, controversial. Yeah. Well, I it's like more it. controversial in the past. Yeah. The white bits used to be yellow. That's right. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's very on theme for the Barbie movie. It's just That's coming true. out now. That's true. Yeah. The Barbie supercar. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. These are really raunchy and loud, of course. I have a Huracan Technica that's yeah. landing any day now. It's a very similar thing. Yeah, similar. Um, Except you've got more practicality because you've actually got, I got a, a little. Front. I got a front, yeah. Okay. I did Blue Uranus. Okay, uh, nice So color. it's going to be pretty cool. So that's a hold-off car until I get my Revuelto end of the year. You ordered that too? No. No. Okay. No. Well, you got to come by and do a video with me on yeah. Revuelto in the U.S. Okay, I should have one of the first 200. So this is stock exhaust or you modified this too? No, this is just valve out. Valve out. So just, okay, got you. You got pop shot. Oh, Legos. If you guys want to collect some, look at some Lego collections. He has I got a, bit a ton of them. Look at all these. I got very carried away. Yeah. I, it's been really fun because I used to collect Lego and now I've been able to work with Lego as well. Um, like signed wow. Toner and Chiron. For very, example. very I, cool. I love that kind of stuff. Because yeah. For me, having a man cave, you know, a garage like this is the cars, but it's also the stuff around the cars. Of course. All right, Jaguar XJ220. S. S. This belongs. S means what? Big ass wing? Basically. Okay. Not and but the, the thing with this is like a big top speed or something, right? Yeah, 220, 220 miles an hour. And of course, it looks really aerodynamic. It also looks really but the S old, but it is old. What year is this? Uh, 95. 95? Oh, wow. I mean, so I guess it's pretty well ahead of its time when you think about it for that old. Super cramped inside. Wow, tiny. look at that, yeah. Massively long car, but yep. tiny, tiny interior. I mean, head is properly on the roof if it's yeah. in there. Wow, but, super uh, cool. Oh, you got gauges. Look at this, gauges on the door. Yeah. <laughs> That's, cool. That's different, okay. Yeah, T350, T350. belongs to my friends from Dub Customs who okay. did a wrap of the GT. Okay, gotcha. I just look after it for them. It's a pretty but, cool looking car, small, long front. You can tell looking around here, by the way, in the garage, yeah. that like, we're standing on the racetrack. Yes, is this the, the boulevard? What do you call it? It's, it's the Schmiel, actually, Schmiel, actually, Schmielard? I've Schmiel actually shaped it, this shape, Gentle left, followed yeah. by right, short straight, and then a right, uh -huh. is YouTube corner at the Nordschleife, Brunchen. YouTube corner? You know where all the videos are? Yeah, yeah, of course. Really yeah, yeah. This is Brunchen. So imagine there's going to be a mural where it yeah. goes up to the right. Oh, you're going to put that on the wall? Yeah. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah, so that's the plan. Very, very nice. People cured it, this. It's painted. It's mega. Look very cool. It. And then that's the grandstand. So the grandstand. Ah, uh, right. The box, right. the pit box. With yeah. One, we'll get to that. Super cool. I okay. Love Absolutely love it. The first, Clio's. The first car I ever owned was one of these. Okay. Exactly the same as this. Yep. 1.2 liter, 70 something horsepower. Not very special. Mm -hmm. Worth a thousand pounds now, but. Okay. This is exactly the same as my first car with right. the same registration because my first car, 15 years after I had sold it, got involved in a crash, got written off, right. became a cube of metal. Okay. I actually own the cube of metal. Really? We tracked it down from oh. the scrapyard and I bought it. <laughs> so I have, I have a similar story. The one that started drag time was the Mazda RX-7. Yeah. 1993, I modified it, blew a few motors, ended up selling it. And the guy who bought it flipped it upside down in six weeks. So that was gone. And then I went and bought back kind of like- You bought the rack? I didn't buy the rack, but I went back like a couple- the same. Yeah, Mazda RX-7, That's it started cool. everything. So I'm gonna keep it. I, did, I got a good deal on it. I think so I did well. The one down below is- This looks more this. special. I don't know, just cause this side vent thing yeah, here. I'm gonna guess it's back there because yeah, because the the, the yeah, make it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that big intake yeah. there, I'm guessing Doesn't it's in the sense. back. Yeah. So somehow the crazy team at Renault decided they were gonna stick a V6 in the back of a hatchback. Yeah. I, it doesn't make sense now, but they didn't make too many of them. Right. Um, they've become a super collectible item, of course. I love driving this, especially down country roads. 
It um, looks cool. So what's in front? Just like a big storage area? A tiny storage area. Tiny? <laughs> it's just like a This didn't use a good, not a good use of was, space? That was the like flagship version. Okay. That. Gotcha. It's Aston Martin time. It's Aston Martin time. Yes. V8 Vantage Roadster. Fun okay. story with the car up top. Yeah. The first time I ever made a YouTube video talking to camera. Yeah. Similar to your, to yeah. your story was driving that car. Oh. I sold it really? in 2012. And you bought it back? I bought it back 10 years later. Same car? Same car. Wow. Same car so much uh -huh. that when I picked it back up from its then owner, right. and there's a little storage pouch between your legs in the driver's seat, I opened it, pulled something out. It was and yours? A letter from my mum. Oh, wow. Still in the car. That's cool. So that was that. I drove more than half of the mileage, but similar to the Clio's, okay. I also bought the GT8, which was the very last special okay. edition. So tell me about this, because I'm not an Aston Martin. Never sold in the US. Okay. Only 150 cars. Okay. Manual. Yep. So Manual gearbox, full carbon body, yep. full, mostly carbon body, um, limited edition, 150 cars, kind of final send off, celebrating winning the um, Endurance World Championship. Yep. World Endurance Championship, sorry. Crazy carbon body work. Yep. You know, things like this up front, the cutaways here, like you have on a race okay. car, you know, that kind of cool stuff. Oh, GT500, which we raced. We did. What did we do? GT500 versus. I think we did Tesla Plaid, it wasn't very fair. That's not very fair. Actually. Yeah. It was the day I drove your plaid for the first time. I think so. I drove a plaid for the first time right. and I'm cutting my hands off with the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Yoke steering wheel. Right, right, it's, right. It's fun to have bought that in the US. You can't buy Shelby Mustangs here. Right. Not homologated. Okay. So you can only buy one and then import it privately. Sure. So that's what I did with that car. Yeah, very cool. So that's very American. That's very British. Lotus and Mira. Yeah. New okay. Mira, first edition manual V6. Yep. This is actually an amazing car. Like it's 80,000 pounds here. Okay. You can fit loads of luggage in it. Yep. A couple of suitcases. It's small. It's got a 400 horsepower, which is plenty for driving. So on. 400 horsepower, four cylinder. Six. Six turbo. V6. Supercharged. Yeah. Old okay. engine. Old yeah. Toyota derived engine. Okay. But really cool thing. Yeah. A lot. It's a so lot what about the new 2,000 horsepower Avaya? Yeah, what do you think of that? It's a bit different. A bit different. I'm not. You know. The electric thing. Yeah. That emotion. Don't get me wrong, I've had a few electric cars. Yeah. Another electric car actually coming very soon. Yeah. There's a charging I've, station over there, by the way. I did see it. I've got a fast charger, 22 yeah. kilowatt charger over there. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not anti EV or anything like that. I mean, I, I drive this. I mean, you had the Porsche Taycan. I've had a Taycan. Taycan or Taycan. Sorry. Mini Cooper, yeah. electric. I've had a couple of Coopers, just right. different cars to get around with. Right. And I drive this in electric a lot, genuinely. So I drive mine electric a lot too. So I can get from here to my home and back yeah. on electric. On electric. So. But you're not plugging it in. Oh, you are. No, it is plugged. You are plugged in. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds it sounds stupid, but. What's your percentage of electric usage? I wonder if it's more than mine. You have the key. Does it tell you over the lifetime? Yeah, when you turn it on. We'll have to have a look. Okay. We'll yeah, grab I the key no in a minute. Idea. Yeah. I'm not, but I've also done lots of long road trips across Europe. Right. Well, obviously it's. You can't really do that. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Um, so Ferrari SF90. Of course, you've seen this on my channel a bunch. I went complete comfort spec, because guess what? I expected that they might make a hardcore version of the car later. Mm -hmm. So I figured, what's the point in ordering this mm -hmm. as a Fiorano if I might be able to get the Ferrari SF90 XX? Fingers are crossed on that one. So you saw the Ferrari SF90 XX? Yeah, we were hoping. That thing is freaking crazy. I've been to see it. Yeah. Crazy looking thing. You saw it in person? I've seen it in person. Did you do a video with it in enough. person? Wasn't allowed to. Not then. Okay. Just allowed to go and see it briefly. See it. Okay, gotcha. Maybe one at Car Week. I expect there'll be one. I thought we'd see it out here. I was super no. excited to see it. Ferrari always launch a new model in June and uh -huh. never show it at Festival of Speed. Really? Every year. Why? I don't know. Just every year it's the same. Anyways. Now you know. I'm pretty sure I didn't get one, but it's a lot of money too. It's a lot of money. Yeah. I nearly double that. Yeah. I went over a video. I'm like, is it worth double the money? Probably financially wise, yes, but whatever. Yep. We're spoiled. So maybe... You've got a Revuelto coming. It, yes, I do. So you're, you're good. Okay, so we'll do SF... If you, if you get an SF90XX, we'll race against the Revuelto. Who's maybe. shipping? Who's shipping? We'll work that one Well, out. you're the one who always does US tours, so <laughs> it's going to be you. I wouldn't mind doing a US tour in this. Yeah. So this is uh, SLS Black Series. Black series. They're pretty rare, the Black Series. 350 cars. Yeah. This has the Rentec R1. Okay. Sounds insane. Uh, I've done around 23,000 miles in it. Wow. Which most people garage queen these days. Yeah. Um, so you had two Black Series. I did have three. I black just Series, this one. Oh, you had a C63 Black yeah. too? Yeah. I, Focus RS. Nobody really would know what this is. It's called the Heritage Edition. Okay. The final 50 Mark III Focus RSs. Yep. We're all in teeth orange, this color. They have 25 horsepower more than the standard car. Mm -hmm. And obviously, because they're only 50, they're super rare. Gotcha. Like the previous gen had the RS500. Yep. There were loads of those. So what's this worth? 75,000 pounds? Yeah. Like wow. So the ultimate was a 1M. Gotcha. Which is the like manual, 
more power. Right. This was the kind of launch spec. This particular car, actually, it's a funny story. Prior to me, it was one owner and has 100,000 miles on it. Okay. 100,000? Wow. Yeah, still running. We need, oh. We're going to do a whole lot of work to it. Yeah. Um, new diff, some upgrades, yeah. suspension, etc. F1 show car. Okay. I didn't know what I was getting into when I got this, but what it turned out to be, it was originally a racing simulator with a livery on it. Yep. What it turned out to be is show car chassis number one of the Williams FW19 from 1997. Yes, I've got that right. Which was the year that Vilma have won the championship, okay. which is the last time that Williams won an F1 World Championship. So this is actually quite a cool thing. It's not a runner, you can't put an engine in it, but the tub is made from the original carbon fiber molds. All of the parts are from original cars, for example, the wheels and suspension. It's a 98 suspension setup. Yep. The wheels say inside the barrels where we took the tires off, which year they will run or which test they will run at. Right. So I think most of them were at Paul Ricard. Wow. Yeah. I think I want to sit in it. You want to sit in it? Yeah, here, hold this. I'll hold the camera, then we get the steering wheel. Okay. <laughs> Just step right here, right on the seat. Step in, yeah. Kind of yourself down. Yeah, I could get in, but probably not out. Oh, geez. <laughs> really <laughs> now. Dude. Can you where, where do you fit your <laughs> legs? Okay. You're in. Oh, my. Now make some noise. <laughs> my voice is perfect for bad noises right now because I've lost it for Goodwood. My feet are too big for this. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's got to set up for me. Come with me upstairs to the. What do you call the upward area? No. Yeah, we need a name terrace, for it. The terrace. We're going to the terrace. It kind of feels more like. Oh wow! Look at the view up here. That's awesome. Cool, right? Yeah, very cool. Spots for some more cars. You got one, two. Looks like you can fit under there. What's what's coming next? If you can say anything. No, I've said a few things. Okay. I've said that I've got a Mustang Dark Horse coming in the U.S. Okay. So I'll get that in the U.S. I've got something electric coming here very soon, which I haven't something said what it is yet. Something electric. Then a couple How of fast Ferraris. is the something electric? Not crazy fast. Not crazy fast. D don't even try. Okay. Ferrari's on the way, Pura Sangue. That's really soon. Okay. 296 GTS. So you already spec'd it out and everything? Oh, like three months away. Okay, gotcha. Four months away. Yep. Uh, 296 GTS, Roma Spider. There will be more, but I haven't said what yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, bob, 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 bob. There are some more. I just might not have said what they are yet. Okay, gotcha. So that's a wrap of the tour with the Schmuseum. I really appreciate you showing me all the cars and walking me around the whole area. I had a great time out here at Goodwood, as but I'm sure you did as well. You bet. And I was going to say, it's good to have you because I've been to your place. Yeah. Like, I don't know. A bunch of times. times yeah. Times, like loads of times. We've actually done a bunch of collabs <laughs> together, but since I was out here, I was like, I'm going to stay in our couple days, see what else is out here and uh, what else to do, but uh, come hang out with Tim. Yeah. So, yeah. Check out the cars, check out the stuff. Check out his channel, so I'm sure you have already. And uh, he's got some cool stuff coming, all from Goodwood and uh, from uh, whatever he's got coming next. So, as always, thanks for watching. If you this video, hit the thumbs up, helps the video on the channel, and we'll see you next video. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>